At just a few minutes from a country where organized criminal activity is an everyday occurrence, there are many risks that teens on this side of the border are exposed to. Sir, it's been a long tight race. I'm finally here at the Far Event Center with virtual winner for the 92nd District Court Judge Luis Manuel Singletary. Tell me what is going through your mind right now. For this morning, group members of an anti-immigration border convoy arrived in McAllen and more are expected to make their way tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. As you can see, police are still at the scene where earlier this afternoon, five people were detained following a raid here north of McAllen. Police were called to the scene after a report was made of an injury to a child, but what they found inside the apartment complex will leave you speechless. And while small businesses provide more options for consumers, a business owners become the backbone of the local economy. In the city of Donna, Texas Rangers continue to investigate an officer involved shooting. U.S. Marshals arrest a San Juan man wanted for aggravated assault with a deadly weapon against a child. Just two years ago here on Minnesota and Frontage Road in the city of Palmview, J.R. Rodriguez, a La Jolla teen who began working for drug cartels since the age of 13, was transporting 17 illegal immigrants in a gray van. He told me that I was going to take all of them. I did it. Under cartel orders, Rodriguez was assigned to transfer all 17 of them to Falfurrias. However, the night turned deadly when following a police pursuit, nine people lost their lives and six others were seriously injured. I saw a couple of them, but I, I couldn't pretty much notice how many were there. It was one of the most intense uh, situations, types of incidents that we've worked as a department, uh, you know, due to the magnitude of the incident, due to the, the, uh, the magnitude of of the fatalities that were on location. And the decision that Rodriguez made here that night cost him 20 years of his life in prison. Many teens like Rodriguez are recruited every day to take part in criminal activity that takes place every day. The Rio Grande Valley area is an area commonly known for smuggling. So what these cartels are doing is they're recruiting youth to um, smuggle either humans or drugs. And the lure that they're doing or they're using is by easy money. According to the Department of Public Safety, Mexican cartels recruit Texas youth to traffic drugs across the border. The Texas border region represents 9% of the state's population. However, this region has accounted for over 18% of the state's juvenile felony cases. They're being used uh, for whatever sums of money they give them. They don't give them hardly any. But these kids get tried as adults, so they they get the full punishment of the law. Easy money is what drives these teens to commit these crimes without thinking of the consequences. It's hard. On the second part of Palm View 9, we will learn what local authorities are doing to put an end to this cruel reality. Fanny Cano, Fox News at 9.